Welcome back to the channel. You can see from the title, I'm actually going to be working on a, a new car now. Pretty much finished with the Civic for now, but I'll probably be going back to it. Um, I do have plans for the interior or anything and make the interior look nice, and as well a engine swap at some point. The new project is actually a Mark II MX-5. Uh, it's actually my uh, brother's, so I'm just doing that up for him. Um, so I'm just going to be restoring that. The whole thing needs to be stripped and basically pretty similar to what I did with the Civic and then rebuilt up. So, so finally got the car back in, uh, the battery is dead and then it's hard to start at the minute because I think the uh, fuel filter or the fuel pump is pretty much old and done. So we've got to sort that out. This is the 1.8 and I'll just show you around um, show you around everything. It's 2003 uh, Mark II uh, MX-5 and uh, it's just pretty basic. So here it is. Um, and it's quite uh, rusty everywhere and it's not going great it's all pretty much standard and you can see the um, uh, I did we did do the sills uh, about a couple of a year year or two ago um, but we just didn't get around to uh, fully sealing it with body fill or anything uh, that's on both sides but they're still strong just need to sort that out make it look cleaner looking um, there's also the chassis rails need done, uh, where the anti-roll bar sits in. Uh, that's also, um, they're also rot rotten, so we need to weld that up. Um, and pretty much basically what we're going to do is, for this car, is just pretty much the same as Civic. Um, strip it pretty much underneath, clean all the parts off, uh, weld anything that needs welded, and then we can start rebuilding under seal, and then start making it clean looking. Also got a nice a uh, body kit just sitting there, uh, waiting for whenever we do get uh, this all sorted. And it's most likely going to be get wrapped as well at some point. So that's it. It's a 1.8 uh, VVTi one. Um, as you can see. Yeah, it's not looking too good. It's a bit rusty, but we're going to sort that out. That's pretty much it. So uh, to start off, I'm just going to start uh, jack it up, get it on uh, axle stands, and then we'll um, work from there.
Alright, so I just finished uh, jacking up. It took me a while, I had to keep going um, from the front, lift it a bit, uh, raise the jack stands, and then go from the back, lift a bit, raise the jack stands. Just kept doing that because um, uh, it didn't feel safe to just keep going as high as I could because it felt like it was slipping a bit. So I just done it, but that's it sorted. I took the roof down um, just so the whole inside was moldy, so I'm just gonna get it aired out because um, it's been sitting for about a year now. So the plans now are actually, um, I'm going to start just take the wheels off, and I'm just gonna start stripping everything, just so we can get it down to pretty much um, just the shell, I would say, because there's a lot, needs a lot of work, and then I've got the space then to underseal it. Because I've got, I've got an underseal kit here, I'm actually gonna be using um, some bed liner, Bedliner is probably the strongest stuff um, and I think it works great for under sealing underneath. Um, I didn't use any on the Civic but um, I've been looking it up and I've used it on my Jeep. Um, not on the under seal but on some like chrome bars and it's lasted it uh, really well. Um, so I'm going to be under sealing the whole thing. It's going to go head start and start taking all the wheels off and then we can start taking off some of the suspension pieces and whatnot. I'm also probably most likely going to be dropping the engine 